Fleet TV Plus. Nera appreciates to 997 Nera per dollar in parallel market. Article 6 supports from Obi Kwankoso against Nobu's forgery. Peter Obi rejects Article's request to support suit against Nobu. Putin reviews traces of grenade found in Pogosian's body. Man advises youths against fraud after experience in EFCC custody. Now the news. The Nigerian Nera on Thursday had a mixed performance against the US dollar strengthening on the black market but weakening through the investors and exporters window. Data from the black market shows the Nera gained ground trading at 997 Nera to the dollar compared to 1000 Nera on Wednesday. However, at the I and E window, the domestic currency depreciated to 775 Nera.2 per dollar from 756.21 Nera previously. This shows that the value of the Nera at the official market sector has decreased by 18.99 Nera. As a result, on Thursday, the difference between the parallel and I and E exchange rates was 221.8 Nera instead of 243.79 Nera earlier in the week. Analysts believe that the return of international flights by several foreign airlines is what caused the Nera's modest recovery on the black market. On to the next. Atiku Abubakar has called on Peter B of the Labour Party and the New Nigeria People's Party, NNPP's Rabi Kwankwasu, to join his quest for justice in a certificate saga involving President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Atiku had requested the release of President Tinubu's certificates from the Chicago State University over the suspicion that the certificates the former Lagos State Governor submitted to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, may not be authentic. While the school had released the certificate to Atiku's team, the PDP 2023 presidential election candidate, who is challenging Tinubu's election, called on Peter Obi Kwankaso and other Nigerians to join his quest for justice over the matter. A member of the defunct All Progressives Congress Presidential Campaign Council, APCPCC, Abiodun Ajiboye, while speaking in an interview on Arise News on Thursday night, said Atiku is the most corrupt human being on earth as described by his former principal, former president Olushe Gomba Sonjo. The APC chieftain said Atiku cannot be talking about the morality of President Tunubu when he is highly immoral and corrupt. The Nigerian tribunal, they have told you your case, your pleas lacked merit. Now, you went to Chicago because you feel that there's still an issue you want to press. I want to ask you as a, in your capacity as a lawyer, Charles, now, those issues they are brought from Chicago, where are they going to smuggle the evidence? Is the Supreme Court going to say, okay, come and plead fresh evidence here yeah, on this matter? Or the Supreme Court is going to look at the structural litigation that are taking, taking place in the lower court and say, okay, this is right, this is right. If your answer to me as a learned person is no, then we don't have business discussing this too far. Let them go to Supreme Court. Let Supreme Court tell us exactly what they want to do since they are in charge. What we should be talking about here is the fact that Abu Atiku Abubakar today was on TV. He was trying to gather emotions. He was trying to say, look, I stand the moral ground today in this country to see that our leaders, our leaders must be accountable, probity and all of that. This is a man in this, out, out of all the politicians that exist in this country, is the only one that lacked moral justification to talk about moral sanctity, integrity, or anything. As, I, as a vice president, Obasanjo gave his scorecard. Nobody could have taken him for one pence. He didn't rise against those very heinous statements made against him, but he found it now easy to say, Kwan Kwaso, come and join me, you Obi, see, come and join me. The, no, 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 yeah, no. The, you the, cannot the, talk about morality when you are highly immoral. Yeah. As a matter of fact, Obasu just said, is the most corrupt human being God created. Meanwhile, Peter Obi has rejected Atiku's request to support his suit on Tinubu's certificate. Reacting to Atiku's proposed alliance, Obi, who is also challenging the legitimacy of Tinubu's presidency at the Supreme Court, through his party said he's only focused on reclaiming his mandate at the Apex Court. Obi's reaction is contained in a statement signed by his party's National Publicity Secretary, Obi Ifo. The statement, which was released hours after Atiku's appeal to the former governor of Anambra State, 
stated that Obi had already been speaking about the need for Nigerian leaders to be good role models. The party said Obi is currently in the Supreme Court seeking to reclaim his stolen mandate and is focused on that. The party added that its presidential candidate has been in the vanguard of ensuring a just nation where justice must be the watchword and it will not stop until Nigeria achieves the leadership it truly deserves. On world news, Russia's President Vladimir Putin on Thursday revealed that explosive traces were discovered in the remains of Wagner mercenary chief Yegeni Prigozhin and his crew after his plane crashed over Russia in August. Fragments of hand grenades were found in the bodies of those killed in the plane crash. There was no external impact on the aircraft. Putin's comments were the first significant update on Russia's investigation into the crash. Prigozhin led an armed rebellion against Moscow's military leadership in June, the biggest threat to Putin's two-decade rule. After the crash, Putin described him as a man who had made serious mistakes in his life but he achieved the right result. The Kremlin has dismissed suggestions that it orchestrated the crash in revenge for Wagner's march on Moscow. Russia has a history of mysterious deaths of Kremlin opponents under Putin. Finally, on the news, a trending video has shown a Nigerian man advising internet fraudsters, publicly referred to as Yahoo Boys, against committing the crime after being remanded by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. In the video, the young man said he had just been released from EFCC custody and that what he encountered inside was inexplainable. If you know, say they do fraud, eh? you know, say they do fraud. Try stop. If you know say before star, try stop. Now they say now you have to study be this. They just release me now, now, now. Now me no waiting my IST for a year. Old. So you know say they do fraud. Try stop. Try stop. We do hope that internet fraudsters and upcoming Yahoo boys heed to the man's advice and desist from digital crime. Thanks for joining our news broadcast. For more updates, kindly subscribe and turn on your notification bell. Thank you.